Hey everybody, getting to work on the, uh, getting back to work on the Robo Tuner here. Uh, I believe this is going to be episode nine or something like that. This thing was on hold for a couple months, waiting for parts to show up, but the parts did show up, so now it's time to get back to it. Uh, first thing I did is I grabbed down the guitar and grabbed the bag of parts and dug up everything that I could find related to this build and. What you see here is pretty much what I came up with. Got the guitar. Um, these docks, I don't know if I showed them to you before, but these came in. It's uh, two complete sets, actually, it looks to be, of like all the tags that came with this thing, including the tags that would hang up on the, on the headstock and things like that. So it's pretty cool. Um, these are the, these are the extra set of tuners that came in and uh, got them used off of eBay just like I got the original complete thing except for the charger. Charger, once again, this came originally, this came direct from the manufacturer in Germany and it's cool, it comes with like three different plug adapters that actually clip slide onto the face of the charger itself. Let's see here if I can, yeah, there we go. You pull this little lock button back. And so this is the basic portion of the charger, the charging unit. And then they, it comes with three sets of plugs. You've got uh, a US type plug. You've got this thing. I have no idea. It's probably something from Europe, maybe Asia. And I believe this, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that's a European plug. And I think it's old. No, we got one more too. So yeah, you probably use this thing on. Nah, that's a European plug, I, I believe. I've never traveled in Europe, so don't ask me. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, you can probably use this thing on almost any socket anywhere on the planet. So that's very cool. Obviously, I'm going to be using the. The North America plug here. So, um, and I found a, uh, there was a strap in there as well, and a pickup, and an on-off switch for the pickup, and that was about it, except for uh, like a sticker and stuff for a Tessie switch, and some power leads for an EQ battery. So I'm guessing at some point I had decided I was going to put on the EQ and uh, the kill button, but uh, they're not in the bag of parts, but I think I might have a couple sitting around as I recall. I took all the cool parts for building like X13s, which would include EQs and kill buttons, high dollar kill buttons, and I put them all in the same box. I took all the, basically I sorted through all the hardware and got all the good stuff and put it all in one box and all the, everything that couldn't build a, that couldn't be used on a, like a state of the art build i.e. an X6 or an X13 kind of a thing, then it went into another box for a whatever type of build. A leftover parts build, as I like to call them. So, um, so this is what I found so far, and I'm going to have to dig up some more things. There's no, there's no strap locks, there's uh, no jack, and uh, there's, at the moment, there's no EQ, and there's... Uh, and there's no kill kill button, but um, the very first thing was I wanted to see. I don't even remember which of these tuners was bad. I think it was number two or number five, perhaps. But um, so the very first thing was I've been away from this build so long. I don't remember how to operate this thing, and uh, I couldn't. The one thing that I was looking for in the in the parts bag that I couldn't find was the little hook tool I made to snag out this battery because you turn it on and almost immediately your little bat light starts going yellow saying that the battery's low. So first step is I'm gonna have to make a new little hook tool. Basically it's kinda like a crochet hook. If I had a crochet hook that'd probably work but yeah, just made 
make a little hook thing out of some mechanics wire and fish that thing out. What it, it's one of these, you push it in and it clicks, and then you push it in again and it clicks and springs out, but you know how those things get, they get old, the springs get tired, they get dirty and stuff, and they don't like to eject so well anymore. So that's what's going on here. But with a little gentle persuasion, you can get the thing in and out without damaging anything. So that's going to be the first step. Get this thing out, plug it up, and get it charged up. So depending on how well my video editing software behaves itself, this might be a lot of little episodes or a series of shorts or something. But so that's the first step. I'm going to get to that, and I'll be back in a bit. Okay, that's the little tool to tease the battery out, and that's the battery, and there's the charger, it's all plugged up, and it's charging. As I recall, this doesn't really take that long, something like maybe an hour, and you get like, you know, a couple months run time or something like that, so it's, it's pretty efficient. Anyway, yeah, um, I'll see you once this thing's charged. Well, that didn't take very long. I've got a green light and it's only been maybe half an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and pop the battery back in. And then i got to look up how to use this thing again. So uh, I'll be back. Okay, I dug out the quick start guide here and figured out just the very basics of how to get this thing going. And it seemed to be trying to work, but also kind of looked like it was going backwards so I put it in the mode where you tune individual strings and then I uh, took the number six string here and it was winding clockwise around the post and I unwound it manually by hand turn the thing off unwound it manually by hand all the way and then continue to wind it so that it would, so it now winds, let's see, it now winds counterclockwise around the post, this way. It used to go clockwise around the post that way. I, the wire was on this side of the post and then going that way. Now it's on this side of the post and going this way. So, yeah. So it turns out that not only are these flipped around, because of the fact that it's at this end of the guitar instead of that end not only is this one actually that tuner and that tuner is actually this tuner but everything instead of going from the inside around to the outside everything has to go around the outside to the inside on both sides so I'm gonna have to switch all these other five around and yeah that's gonna call for some rethinking of how this whole stuff gets plumbed because like this string now wants to come out here and this yeah so I gotta think about it some I'll be back okay I was uh, using the motor to wind these guys around the other way and it looks like this pins not gonna be strong enough so I'm gonna have to find a replacement I'm gonna go do that now okay I uh, Replace those two pins with a couple of screws. I believe these are surface mount screws for pickups. And uh, then I use the battery in order to spin all these guys around so they're all winding in the correct direction now. And it works. It works great. You just, uh, I just finished tuning it up so I'd have to throw it out of tune to demonstrate. I'll do that in a minute here, but, but, um, yeah, you just you just turn it on and uh, and set it over. I I did it for the individual string mode, and you just go along and it and it flashes the letter for the string, and you pluck the string, and it tunes it, and then it switches automatically to the next string, and when it does all six, it turns itself off. Couldn't be slicker. And actually, it'll actually do all six simultaneously, too, but um, it wasn't really, like, that close, so I didn't want to get it too confused, so I did it one at a time, just to make sure everything was working right. And, yeah, it's 
it's you know it works great it's really cool so um so uh yeah the next thing is gonna be I think the next thing really is going to be I got to dig up my sketches and stuff I have for um for like the the swing bar, the leg bar and the swing bar and such. It's kind of looking like as I recall there was going to be some kind of a guard bar here and then down here the swing bar would go I think I might be able to mount it like right here and then that way you could swing it out of the way in order to get the battery out and that might work that just might work the other option is I put it on a on a pedestal or post or something and have it up this high and have it go over the entire tuner system and then the bar would be like, you know, in the way of buttons and stuff. So I think I'm going to see if I can fit it in right here. That, that should be possible as long as the bar is not too wide. So I think that'll do. So that's the next step. Figure that out. In general rule, whenever you're dealing with something, you worry about what you don't know how to do, not what you do know how to do. All the other stuff to be done on this, now that I've got the tuner part figured out, is, uh, <clears throat> you know, installing the pickup and stuff like that. And that's all real straightforward. I've done that on a ton of guitars. There's nothing much to it. You just figure out what height you want and, and dig up or fab up some shims and glue it all together. And then, you know, plumb your wire and fish up a jack and all the normal stuff, so... Yeah, I think the next step is going to be a, a swing bar and such for this thing. Figure out that part of it. And then, uh, and then once that's figured out, then I can go ahead with, uh, like, you know, the electronics and stuff like that. Electrifying it. But, um, let me, uh, let me just do this right quick. Actually, let me go ahead and, and, and I think the battery is low to tell you the truth. So let me, uh, it said in the instructions that if you've got a battery that's like, hasn't been used in a while, or if it's brand new, they got all kinds of instructions. You, how to store the thing long term in a refrigerator and stuff, the batteries. Yeah. So all kinds of really explicit instructions with this unit. So, and that was just on the quick start pages and such. Um, I need to download the manual. Maybe I've already done that. But, anyway, yeah, um, I think I ran the battery. It said that, that, that the battery, you have to go through a few cycles. And that it, if it hadn't been used in a while. And it's probably a lithium ion or something. And it has to go through a few cycles in order to, uh, in order to get up to a full charging capacity. So, right now it's, it'll go through, you know, I charge it up, I've now charged it up twice. The first time when I was playing around with it, just when I first started shooting this video. And then I charged it up just before I... Switched all these guys around and started tuning them. I, I think I got like three or four of them cranked all the way around using the battery. And then I'd run the battery down and then charged it back up. Got the rest of them cranked around and there was enough charge left in the battery to tune the whole thing up. And now I think it's like low again. So let me charge it back up and throw it slightly out of tune and see if I can get it to do its little thing for you here right quick. Okay, I threw uh, each of the tuners like a quarter turn out of tune, and I'll see if I can get this thing to do its little thing for you here. Press this on-off button three times, and then you press the menu button twice, 
and it's now in individual string tuning mode and we want to hit number six string and you should see it do its thing yep that's six five Let me get the right string here. Four. Three. Two. Two again. Yep, there's two. And number one string. There it is. Pretty slick, huh? Okay, this has been shot in like five or ten little bits and pieces that I got to try to splice together. I have no idea how long it's going to add up to, so I'm going to end this episode here. And on the next one, I'll pick up with uh, figuring out the uh, swing bar stuff. Until the next one, everybody, pull back here. Everybody, have a good one.